Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we'll be showing you how to replace the controller on the 2022 eMove Cruiser. For this repair, you will need a 4mm hex key, 3mm hex key, needle nose pliers, a rubber mallet, and of course, a new controller. Unlock the folding mechanism and fold the stem until it locks into its folded position. Unscrew the front U-deck cover. Use a 3mm hex key for the two side screws and a 4mm hex key for the front screws. Use a rubber mallet to hit the U-deck cover off. Pull the wiring out from the side with the power button on it. Once the controller is free, pull it out towards the front. Pull everything else out now. Make sure you're pulling out all the wires carefully. Now that the front cover is open and the wires have been pulled out, it's time to take off the top deck. Use a 3mm hex key to remove most of the deck screws and use a 4mm hex key to remove the rest. Lift the deck up and place it to the side. Be sure to have the scooter powered off before disconnecting these wires. Also, be sure to not let any metal touch the exposed wires. Go back down to the front and disconnect the red cord and the black and white cord that are at the front of the side panel. Pull the wires into the main cavity after disconnecting. Next, unplug the red and blue wires going into the controller. If there are wire covers over your wires, then you can use a blade to cut through them. Be careful to not cut yourself or the white plastic beneath. Sometimes the blue wire will be black or yellow. Red will always be red and will always connect to the other red cord. Cover the metal parts with their plastic sheets before pulling through the metal surfaces. Also, make sure to not let the exposed positives and negative sides touch. Now, let's disconnect the motor wires. They will be on the left side when looking from the front. These will always be blue to blue, green to green, and yellow to yellow. The motor hall wire will be unplugged last. Once unplugged, guide them to the front cavity. Don't unplug anything else. We will use the existing wires to guide us on the new controller. Take your new controller and guide it into the top wires first. You will need to pull the power wires back held against the battery surface to do this smoothly. In the front, reach in the front cavity and pull the wires towards you. Now back up top, squish the wires against the side wall and push the controller into the cavity. This will be a tight fit, so don't be worried if it takes a few tries. With the controller in place, we can start routing the connections into it. Go to the left side and pull the motor wires through. Connect the corresponding colors, blue to blue, green to green, and yellow to yellow. Then connect the motor hall. Now we will go through and move all the connectors from the first controller to the new controller. It's easy to do this one at a time so that you don't confuse yourself. Pause the video now to take a closer look at the diagrams we're using to do this task. First, we start with the Bermuda Triangle connector. Disconnect it and connect it to the corresponding port on the new controller. You can tell by matching up the color of the lines. Next, we will disconnect the orange and the white wires that connect to the PCB. Connect the white wire to the orange and the white cord from the new controller. Make sure you hear it click. Next, disconnect the black and white pair cord that connects to the single white cable. Then take the single white cable and connect it to the paired white and black cords on the new controller. Sometimes the wires get lost in crevices while you move everything, but all the cables mentioned should be there. Next, we disconnect the red and black paired cord from the single black cord. We disconnect the single black cord to the paired red and the black cables on the new controller. Lastly, we'll disconnect the black and red paired cord to the black and blue paired cord. Then take the black and blue paired cord and connect it to the black and red cord on the new controller. This blue and black cords are not always this color. If you end up needing to do any rewiring, make sure to take ample photos so you know where you started. Also, if you forgot, go back to this timestamp to see the diagrams again. The old controller can now be placed to the side. Now, we'll go ahead and connect everything to the battery. The thick wires, red and blue, go to the controller while the thin wires, red and white, go to the charging port. Feed the power lines through the opening and into the front cavity, and you want to go over the controller, not under it. Feed the thinner wires to the side. We will connect them now. Pull back the rubber covers. Connect the white cord to the black cord. Connect the red to the red. Place the wire covers back. 
Next, we'll go ahead and connect the battery wires to the controller, black to blue, as those are the negatives. Next, connect the red to the red, as these are the positives. Also, there will be a spark, so don't be alarmed. Next, test that the power is working by turning the scooter on. Check the voltmeter, the headlight, the front deck lights and the rear deck lights, the brake lights, the turn signals, the LCD display, the throttle, the horn, and anything else you can think of. If all is working, then you're good to go. If something is not working, reference the diagrams we showed you earlier and check your work. You start by placing the deck back on. Place each screw and screw each one. Cozy up all the wires in the front cavity and the side cavity and then guide the front cover back on. Screw it back in. Once the final screw is firmly in place, you're set to ride. If you want to learn more about our scooters, make sure to check out our website. Do you have any tutorial ideas? Let us know. Please leave your comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And once again, thank you for watching.